Good morning, friends. We actually started the morning at a pig cafe. We are going to Harajuku today. I'm so excited. Oh my god, sister, are you okay? Sister is unwell. She's having some tummy issues. It's also really bright out today. We're gonna head to Harajuku and we will see you guys there today. Yeah. That family want chicken. Chicken. <laughs> the moment of truth. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> All right, so now that we got our chicken, the first shop we're checking out is none other than Paris Kids. This iconic store has been around since my sister and I were little kids visiting Japan. It's a super cute and affordable accessory store with lots of hair accessories and most notably their selection of piercings and clip-ons. I also noticed these really cute keychains but Kiana realized that they were magnetic which makes them even better. And it's not a Harajuku shopping day without checking out a sock shop. Before you could get adorable socks like this in the States, my sister and I used to stock up on the cutest sock designs from Japan. It always made us feel like such trendsetters and I still get compliments on my Japanese socks to this day. And they also always have bundle deals. While we were shopping, Josh went over to this brand new capsule shop, which I've never seen before, and got Kiana a little praying cat. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> I also showed this store in my last Harajuku video, so I'll give you guys a quick little peek. They have a second floor with all secondhand items, but we just stayed on the first floor today because it was so crowded. But I've been seeing this style tote a lot recently, and I'm now beating myself up for not getting the pink one. It was less than $20. So I saw everyone walking around with this spiral potato stick, so I was determined to get one of my own. Also, I was just living for the fact that they were exclusively blasting twice in the shop the entire time. For that reasoning alone, I was able to justify waiting in that long line. After a snack, we checked out one last store on Takeshita Street. I highly recommend WeGo for styles that are trending in Japan, plus the store is relatively affordable. They have clothing and accessories, but these platforms stole the show. Kiki bought them in cream. <laughs> so Takeshita Street was overwhelming to say the least, so we are heading to the back streets more towards Omate Sando. I prefer shopping in this area because it's way more walkable and breathable, and there's still plenty of incredible stores. 
So here is Nadia, one of my all-time favorites. I actually don't think I've ever purchased anything from here. I mostly just come here to window shop and I don't know, I just love the experience of this store. The interior is all pink, really girly and cute, and the selection of accessories, like don't get me started. It's aesthetic overload. And as you could have guessed, the clothing here is also very feminine. Lots of lace and florals. And I noticed this dress on the mannequin and I love that they paired it with pants. Another reason I love these back streets is because they have really good secondhand clothing stores. Second Street is a recycle shop and there are several locations in Tokyo, but I'm always so impressed by this one in Harajuku. I swear they only buy in the most top-notch quality of clothing. Like most of these look as if they are brand new. That being said, you are going to be paying for the quality. This runs on the pricier side in terms of thrifting. But if you go right next door, there's another recycle shop, Baz Store. Kiki, Josh, and I all noticed that the pricing was way more reasonable here. I'd say it's more comparable to Goodwill back in the States. The quality might not be as superb, but there were still a lot of gems. You guys, it's happening! <laughs> I've been waiting this whole trip to go to Kitty Land. They just sell all things kawaii. My wallet is going to be destroyed after this. I loved the front display, but I'm here for the top floor, baby. <laughs> so, welcome to my personal heaven. The top floor is all Sanrio and San X. I truly don't have words at this point, so just enjoy the montage of all the glorious items I found this day. Hello friends! Sorry, I know I'm looking really washed out right now. It's kind of serving Michael Jackson a little bit. It's a really cloudy day. Anyway, today is our second to last day in Tokyo. Feeling emotional about it, but today we're finally going to my favorite like secondhand thrifting district in Tokyo, which is Shimokitazawa. I think we're gonna grab a little sushi before. We're just gonna focus on shopping before we head back to California. So I'm gonna take you guys along, show you what thrifting is like here. We'll head out together. Bye. Oh, yeah. Slay all day, Shinjuku. Slay all day. Oh my god, that's striking. about the nice cup of calming tea, Zuko. I don't need any calming tea. I need to capture the avatar. So we made it to Shimokitazawa! It was just as lively as I remember and there were so many characters out this day. Also right outside the station we stumbled across what I think are LARPers about to battle. <laughs> All right, so moving on to what we came here for, the thrifting. There were so many shops to choose from, so we just started off by walking into any shops that caught our attention. There was not a single dud. Every shop had such a cute vibe and great curation of clothing and accessories. We did notice that a lot of the thrift stores in Tokyo seemed to have like an Americana theme. 
My mom said that a lot of recycle shops here actually started off by selling clothes the owners bought in the US. So that's why there's such a strong association of thrifting with America, which I found to be really interesting. And as I was looking through some dresses, I could see by the tags these were indeed American brands. Like, I thought this floral button-down dress was so adorable. And as you can see on the tag, this was made in the US. And you know it's the real deal when they even have Charlotte Russe. <laughs> I'm vicious. I want Santa to catch my prey. <laughs> We were really excited to check out the second street in Shimokitaza to see how it compared to the one in Harajuku. The second floor looked like it had more ladies items, so we headed up there. The store is really spacious and organized, you almost wouldn't guess that it's a thrift store. The only problem I run into when thrifting in Japan is the sizing. Most of the women's clothes do run on the smaller side, which of course is expected. Also, I did find that the pricing was a little more reasonable here, but maybe it's because I wasn't looking at any of the designer pieces. Like this eyelet dress from Zara and this cute jumpsuit were both priced at 1600 yen, so around $15. I was really tired this day and I was losing some steam, so I needed a quick coffee pick-me-up. I couldn't find a 7-Eleven, so I settled for a Family Mart latte instead. And not gonna lie, I prefer the 7-Eleven one so much more, but that's just me. We're finally at my favorite thrift shop in Shimokitazawa. This is New York Joe Exchange, and today was mayhem. Squirrelix was blasting on the speakers, and the entire store was 50% off. But this store is so unique, it actually used to be a bathhouse, so they kept the original tiles. And personally, I think they have the best selection of styles here. Everything was so cute. I especially liked the sage green satin dress, and their jewelry pieces were really unique as well. Time to bag it up. <laughs> and last stop of the day, we are checking out Baz Store, the same shop we visited in Harajuku. We ended up finding so many cool pieces at this location. My sister and I immediately darted towards this purple cardigan, but it was over $100. <laughs> But I also found a Vivian Westwood purse and a Comme des Garçons sweater. It was pilling though and also priced over $100, so not really worth it to me. But I found this really pretty sheer maxi dress. I was just too exhausted to try anything else on, so we called it a day. <laughs> So I hope y'all enjoyed shopping with us in Tokyo. I cannot wait to show you guys what I bought on this trip, so look out for a Japan haul coming soon. See you next time! Bye! -bye.